up to. Uh, I'm taking a ride up to the Kangamangas Mountains, but I had to check GPS to see where this 113 was going. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna turn around just to uh, take a. I gotta turn around. I'm gonna turn around and take a ride on it. Right here. Take the next right onto New Hampshire 113 East. So I figured we'd Take check out this road. Turn left to stay on New Hampshire 113. And uh, old lady's barking at me. So I figured we'd uh, take a ride down through here. I'll talk to you about my trip. So yesterday I went on a ride with uh, HO with the Harley Owners Group, and that took us out to. What was it called? Bentley Saloon, I believe. And I believe that is out on Maine. Out in, in Maine. Take the next left to stay on New Hampshire 113 that was a, East. That was a fun ride. But <laughs> it was raining. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, kind of had to do battle. On New Hampshire 113 East for wow, beautiful. Kind of had to do battle with the rain. But, um... Hey, still had a good time, had a good ride. I did not record and you know, yeah, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should have, but um, man, it was so wet. But I could have put the camera there probably and just recorded and shot a, a small vlog, but you know what? It's, uh, sometimes you can't catch everything. But uh, yeah, man, this has been a fun ride. I packed up my tent and everything this morning. I uh, am now, I decided I'm just gonna take a ride up there to Kangamangas. And then after that, I'll make my way home, which is probably six hours, seven hours from there. So I stopped by the McDonald's and got a coffee. And um, I was chatting with a, a gentleman and he said he's retired and he said mostly what he does is he travels in the motorhome you know and i guess he pulls his bike and he says man you know he says the best thing about it is i'm not pressed to be anywhere and he's like you know that's one of the things that you kind of have to get over is that if you know you're not pressed to be there you're not on a schedule you're on vacation He's like, hey man, just take the time and enjoy the ride, man. Get out and enjoy the ride. Go somewhere that you want to go that maybe you weren't planning, if, especially if you're not on a schedule, you're not on a timer. And uh, and just enjoy the cruise. And I tell you, you know, what still working. Sometimes you're caught up in, oh, I gotta be here, or oh, I, uh, 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 I gotta go home, I gotta go home. And then you go home and you're like, dad, you know, I really do wish I just took that ride up there. Ha! Huh. See? So, that's what I decided to do today. That's what I decided to do. Really beautiful riding through New Hampshire. This is the first time I've been in this state, ridden in this state. Mile. Turn right to stay on New Hampshire And um, really enjoyed it. It's been really nice. Yeah, so this is our vlog on New Hampshire 113. That is their police department. Nice, interesting. Apparently, Take the I'm second making right, right stay on New Hampshire 113 East. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't go in their driveway because I almost did. Continue on New Hampshire 113 East for three miles. I actually firmed up the rear shock, the rebound, to a number three. Usually I have it on number two. As you know, I have the progressive rear shock, the 465. And I tell you, with all of the stuff in the back and it being all loaded down like it is, whoo, man, what a, what a, what a joy. What is that? Something, I don't know what that is. What a joy. 
well, it's it's been really a lot more responsive. Um, you get a little less, a little more dampening, I should say, a little less uh, booby bop all over the place. So the bike's a little less all over the place. So which is good. Once it dumps me out on this main road, I was gonna find a gas station so I could top off. And uh, I still got 40 minutes to my de destination. So and that's where I will start the Kangamangas video. Well, we'll record and ride through there. I'll plug the GoPro in and let it charge. I only have one good battery. My other battery, that battery is no good. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. Not tell you, but um, this is a beautiful road. 113. A couple bikers up ahead enjoying a cruise, also. The beaten, the tr the path less beaten. So when we were on that HOG ride yesterday, it was 90 miles approximately, no stops, ha, no stops. So a well, good thing I made sure I fueled up before I went, but man, my butt cheeks were on fire. And I had my tour master jacket. Thank God I put on my rain pants, you know, because if you had jeans, forget it. You were a wet dog. Oh, you're a wet dog, man. I put on my rain pants. Um, and even still, you know, my jacket, I still got a little wet underneath my jacket. It's, but for the most part, I stay decently warm. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the cruise. You know, just really try to stay safe. You know, there was 12 bikes plus 12 leader groups and we were all we were all staggered so you know we just really tried to stay safe and enjoy the journey so which was nice you know it was a lot of fun they actually have a ride on Thursday that takes you out to Mount Washington. Thursday is supposed to be pretty much the best day if you want to head up to Mount Washington. Yeah, I was going to try and get up there yesterday and then I bailed because of the rain. As soon as I woke up, bro. I was going to try and go out there today, but uh, it's like, uh, I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to do Kangamangas. I was talking with one of the guys yesterday from the HOG. And, um, and he was like, bro, you know, before you head down, you really should do Kangamangas. And that kind of stuck with me, you know. And I was like, man, I was like, all right. Maybe, yeah, he's got a point. Maybe I got to do this. Let me check In this out. Mile, turn you know? left on New Hampshire 16 North. So um, I decided, you know what, before I left, I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a try. Nice pool. I'm going to give this a try. So I said, why not? Yeah. But anyhow, um, I, I, I haven't posted a lot of videos or at all, pretty much, but. Um, but um, all still said and done. Take the next left onto New Hampshire 16 North. All still said and done. Um, hey man, you know, had a good time. Enjoyed the ride. G2 fancy foods. You know, at this point now, just gotta, just gotta find somewhere. It's gonna, there gotta be a gas station up here, so I'm gonna get some gas. Turn left onto New Hampshire 16 North. Continue on New Hampshire 16 North for 11 miles. All right, so 11 miles. I'm gonna stop and grab some. Petrol. 
and I tell you what this shield I told you guys I changed from my 11 inch shield to the 9 what's the speed limit 30 okay I'm doing 33 um to this 9 and it was awesome in the rain I was able to see over immensely it's what I prefer I just prefer seeing over any day of the week that give me see it over the shield over through you know I just so I so prefer it and um it just it just worked out great you know oh man no don't tell me I'm going up right no I don't think so I gotta go up and then make a left on 112 so all right I need to stop by AutoZone and get a small tube of uh, of synthetic oil. No, no, up, 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 not synthetic oil. Silicone spray. Maybe if they have a small can. My kickstand needs a little bit of silicone. Every time you get caught in the rain, you have to apply a little more silicone to the kickstand and that keeps it opening and closing really, really, really smooth. If it loses that bond, or it loses that lube then it's just really rough all right that did not sound very good anyway ah look at that view oh which reminds me on the way back what well, i was riding back with one of the hog members and um really nice guy had an awesome 18 tvo Bob and Sue are the names. They're from the Winnipeg uh, chapter. I think it's something. What is something? I don't know. Uh, I'll probably I'll try and type it in. I should have took a picture with them too. You know, like I should have, man. I, I guess my, that's, that's bad on me. You know. Yeah, it's a beautiful views, huh? How about that. When I get up there, I'm going to stop and take some pictures. Um, and just, just route to get up that way. But on the way back, they brought me through some beautiful roads, man.